Hello and welcome you guys to a new series. I'm your host Solid Mercury and this is a series I'm going to be doing with Fuse MC. Uh, I constantly been linking his channel for a lot of my stuff so uh, go and check him out if you haven't. Uh, this is going to be a well just a uh, another crack pack series uh, that we just randomly started and we're going to try and make a completely automated city just to see how that goes uh, so welcome to automation haha I believe he calls his uh, total automation I'm going with automation since we're building a city so uh, yeah, let's get down to it uh, so for the first stuff well, we spent a while uh, dying because it's kind of hard not to sometimes. Uh, but after that, he started getting into the machines and I was still gathering for a while. And then I finally said, screw it, I'm going to start my usual process. And start collecting some of the Thumbcraft items. Uh, because I am really good with Thumbcraft and I can do at least a decent amount with it uh, so I started out with a nice little square here and I've just been working it up uh, bit by bit actually I have no idea what he thinks of this building uh, I built like a little square on the top of this little uh, cliff face here then came back the next day to uh, this <laughs> little spot built into it where he had built the uh, Tinker's Construct uh, forge smeltery and I just thought it was kind of funny so he had designed this thing out like this and all I could think was I like the design it looks really nice how am I going to uh, do this then since this bottom piece has been done well let's uh, try to extend it up and also add a little bit of my own flair what the heck is with this hole? I've fallen in it twice now. Wow. I suck at this game. Uh, but yeah, he, he had this little design built up, and I just took it and I built it up in my own pattern, extended out what I had a little bit to match. Like uh, this little spot here was uh, an add on, I think, to my original design. It was just like a small little square, so. Uh, removed some of the dirt on the outside so that way the two could connect up and I put in a nice little pathway to get up top here very nice very easy uh, don't have a real door yet so I put in some warding stones here so that way enemies can stay out uh, I need to finish off these two walls and work on a little bit of flare for the inside here but other than that uh, got my little work center here go up to the second floor you've got the bed which I almost broke apparently but punching it takes like half of the durability to punch uh, using these railcraft uh, stone brick walls makes like a nice little pattern also does uh, this little pillar here which I think looks kind of cool uh, so we can go up to the next layer which from here doesn't look like much it just looks like a little inlet and then you got this I have no idea what I'm gonna put up here yet I may move something up here later on or something just for fun but yeah it's completely it's just a little random landing because I thought it looked kinda neat to have like the little little landings where these uh, walls could be built up because that has like a little flare so up to the next layer and this is where I'm going to be putting the uh, uh, arcane uh, infusion altar so once I start making this which probably will be today's episode we're going to place this up here and hopefully I gave myself enough room actually I haven't counted that so I'll probably have to uh, double check myself uh, who knows, I might need that one or something, I don't know. 
Uh, we'll find out. But, yep, just a uh, nice little building. I think the uh, aspects in this look really nice. How this goes, like these uh, wooden ways that he set up, I liked it a lot, so I kept them, added my own flair to it, and then I used it as a stairway. So, very simple, very easy, and a very nice little thing. Hi. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> uh, I took a few days off so I have no idea what he's been up to apparently he's got a uh, super power source built uh, here I'll be back in a minute okay so I'm back and I got this plotted out for how much room I'm going to need I think at least approximately I uh, extended the roof a little bit on some sides so we should be good though on all um, and just as proof this is working <laughs> oh that turned into been better timing I didn't even tell him I went back to recording again <laughs> oh wow so I paused it there for a minute but yeah that's fuck that's pretty funny uh, yeah. Alright, so. Oh. Let's grab you. Dun 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 I will get that in just a second. Alright, so. Seven by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. So, as soon as we make it, the center of the altar will go here. Uh, I believe these are where those go. Which I can actually place down these for a minute because it's not really going to cause any problems. Uh, then the optimal formula for this is the just set it up with uh, four on each side with the corners overlapping which gives you uh, 12 to use so we'll go ahead and get this set up and well we'll go ahead and make these parts first and then we'll get it set up because we kind of need the parts before we can do any of this uh, so any of these in an ender, ender pearl oh man um Hold on a second. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Get that four of these. Alright. There's eight. I know you're out of that. There we go. And the center one. Then we take the rest of these for that. Which was this, 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 and this. Creating our uh, border stones. I'm just going to take air because we've got a lot of air. At least so far. Uh, hey! Can't touch me, can ya? Can ya? We do, we do, we. I knocked your head. I didn't even see you. And I knocked your head off with your f jerky flesh. Right, I'm gonna actually kill you guys because I don't want you guys hanging around. Clearly, you guys have helmets, so you aren't gonna burn. What the heck? You walked through. That's not fair. You can't do that. Okay. Gonna see if I can get us a uh, Ender Pearl. I don't know if he's actually collected any or not. Probably. Sweet. Just need one. Yeah. All right. 
And back over. Nom 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 nom. Alright, so let's see. We'll put you in the center and put you in here. 38. Wow. I need all 25. Um, I'm going to need a minute. So I'll be right back after I collect some shit. Alright, so I got it made. Uh, I'm gonna come up here now. And I feel like my wands don't have enough power for this yet. Also, I'm gonna knock this layer off. It's a little too tight. There we go. Alright. So, first things first, we need one of these here. These in the corners. Uh, then I need to just place some blocks so this can go up here. Then all this should take, I think, is just a. Oh, no, wait. Wait. Yep, I do need more power then. How much does it take to set this up? 25 of each. Holy. God damn. Uh, guess order is the only one I need. So I guess I'll just bounce back over here and see if I can get a bit more. Amazingly enough, there's this. Which, by the way, uh, sorry I burnt this area down, Fuse. I accidentally touched that one freaking ore. Sorry. I actually like that area a lot. I accidentally picked it up. It's on my node tree. Okay, this is easy then. Alright. Just grab what we can, and... We're golden. Of course, since we're over here, might as well stop this one. See if there's anything I need. Nope. Alright, sweet. Fly! Fly! Really curious as to what this is gonna look like when it's done. Alright. Time for the big guns. Wow, 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 wow. I love that thing every time it. Is like the best freaking thing. Okay, so the perfect locations for these, uh, for the most versatile, uh, never having to change it, change the shape, is this. Then that is the optimal spot. Uh, so we've got this set up finally. So I can start doing some infusion stuff, and I've got one spare of these, so I can, uh, uh, I guess I could store, like, a spare wand on it or something at some point. Uh, for now, it's just going to sit here. Um, so yeah. So, welcome to Audination. We're going to end up doing a lot of stuff in here and hopefully a lot of it turns out good uh, I'm going to try and figure out the best ways to do this one because I'm going to really 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 want to learn how to automate Domcraft I've been trying to as best I can uh, some of the stuff in Domcraft is really hard to actually automate uh, like you need other mods that add a little bit of automation to Domcraft to even be able to get it to start automating and even then it only does so much uh, a lot of the automation in Domcraft comes from the golems and they're only half-assed they, they've only got so much they can do now though they do a freaking good job of constantly farming stuff for you though so you can't argue with them on that. Uh, so I guess before I decide to end the episode, let's go and get one of these set up. Iron. Oh wow, we're more on iron. Seven, eight. Yep. Five, six, seven, eight. There we go. 
Uh, that's still set up for that. Um, so, oh, I only need seven. Let's get two of these, actually. La. Nether. Nether rock, there we go. Until I can actually get a uh, proper source, you know. Uh, in my proper source, I mean, what we're setting up is going to literally allow me to get what I need to power the thing that I'm setting up. So, this is a little bit of a funny situation to have uh, <laughs> where you need the thing to power it originally, but uh, just go with like right here, stick one down. Go. There we go. And we have this done. Now, I only want one of these here. Uh, the other one is going to be used in a later point. Which I don't know why I brought two another rack with me. Whatever. Um, I only have one. Uh, but let's see. I need like an infinite spring somewhere. Let's grab that. Grab these. Uh, Hope my landlord doesn't mind me doing this. Filling my home with water. Wahaha. I'm just saying my home because, well, I pretty much made this thing to encompass me. I, I guess I'll be the uh, wizard. <laughs> it was my little wizard tower. <laughs> Alright, so I can throw that in there. And we are set up with what we need. At the very least, for now, we're set up. Uh, I'm going to go do a little bit more decoration and just in general work around here to try and finish up the walls and such. Uh, and I'll probably have a, the slightly more automated crucible working by the next time I record a video, hopefully. Or I'll be doing something with the runic make. Uh, the, uh, Infusion altar. Uh, I'll probably have something fun set up for you guys to watch. Uh, but until then, I've been your host, Solid Mercury, and thank you guys for watching. This has been Autonation. Don't forget to click like if you like this video and want to see even more, uh, especially since we are going to probably be going really crazy on this stuff. Uh, it's already got a decently crazy system over there with three. Uh, laser miners <laughs> actually really impressive uh, so yeah I uh, can't wait to see what you guys think till next time have a good one